so gay. You, you fire CM Punk, and then you have Dolph Ziggler go on SmackDown. T tell them what happened. Apparently, not on TV, because, you know, that would make too much sense. They buried it away in the WWE app. You gotta download that if you haven't already, Taz. Ziggler cut, like... A pipe bomb. A, a pipe bomb shoot promo. Where pretty much he just bitches and whines that... I go out there every day and I bust my ass! And, uh... <laughs> nobody can do what I do! I'm the best in the world! I'm the best in the world! Alright, we get it, WWE. You're, 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 you're scared CM Punk is gone, so now you need a new one. But Dolph Ziggler? The pink-haired warrior? The guy who can't have a match without falling on his fucking head and getting a concussion? Is, is this the new thing? Like, it was interesting when CM Punk did, but now when you're going to have every jobber on the roster bitch and whine that they're being overlooked, it's just stupid now. You know, there was that whole Zack Ryder thing where he was complaining and so he got a push. Now all the smarts are in an uproar about Daniel Bryan. They submit a petition to the White House website <laughs> that almost got 100,000 signatures to have Obama put him in the main event. Now Ziggler is next. Is this really... It's not original anymore. It's not. Really? Stop rehashing storylines. If you please. need to, like, break KFAB and resort to shooting to get over, then there's a problem there, you know? You should be able to get over on your own. Yeah. And don't give me the shit that they're holding Ziggler back, okay? He had a fucking World Heavyweight Championship reign. Him too! One Maybe? was like 40 seconds, oh, but I mean, still I had it. that. It doesn't... He doesn't... He's not good, okay? He's not. He's not. You're flopping around the ring like a fish and overselling like a maniac... <laughs> Does not equate to you are a good wrestler. Botching a leg drop bulldog. A very simple move that anyone can do. And he botches it weekly. Right. If you haven't seen the promo, Smarks on Wrestling Forum, you know, they're like, oh, it was great, blah, blah, blah. And there's another place I found, a uh, subreddit called Squared Circle, which actually it's a pretty cool pl place, but there are the Smarky types on there. Um, and yes, Headliner, I can still get to Wrestling Forum. I changed my IP address. I'm back on the website. I have an account, you fucking retard. Uh, We're being back on your website, I'm yes? being back on your website. This time from Mother Russia, I'm strong like bull, yes? Okay, all right. You're very good at making the YouTube. High five. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so Ziggler sucks in other news. Yes, in other news, Google. They've had this feature for a while, Google Trends, where you can, like, type in a topic and it shows you the relevancy of how much people search for it over time. And it used, it was cool, but the problem was it was too general. So if I typed in CM Punk to see how often people were searching for him, the results were not reliable because anytime someone would type in the word like punk, like punk rock, it would group that into CM Punk. So the results were not reliable. However, they have now been able to group the topics by actual trends. So there's John Cena, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. It actually knows what you're talking about when you put in the query this time. So just for the heck of it, I thought it would be a cool idea to see who people on in the real world, on the internet... Not just smarts. Not just everyone. smarts. Everyone cares about. I queried five names. John Cena, CM Punk... Daniel Bryan, Dave Batista, and AJ Lee. The results go all the way back to 2005, but I don't really care about that. I don't, I don't really know if this is going to show up too well. I'll try and find a link to a file that you guys can see this query. Um, so as you can see, or I don't even know if you could see it, the blue line that gets the most results by far is John Cena. That's who people are looking up. Fuck you people, you're a bunch of retards. Why would you want to look this asshole up? He sucks and he's boring. But apparently people like him. On average, since 2005, the second most searched on our query was Batista. But obviously that was since 2005. So I'm just looking at 2013. Now, the past year, Cena is still by far the most searched. However, second... Tied for second in our query are Punk and Batista. They're about equal in terms of our people looking them up. And think about that. Batista, who has not been in the company since 2010, is drawing the same amount of searches online as CM Punk. Because people were typing, when the fuck is Batista and coming I'm back? I'm going to have to post a link to this so they can look at this file themselves. The very end, which is recent, Batista gets a spike and surpasses CM Punk. So, yes, people are searching for him more, even now. So... Cena, way 
far ahead of the pack. Punk and Batista second. Although it should be worth noting that Cena's gone down a lot recently. Cena has gone down. He's in a downward trend, which is a good thing. Who do you think is third? Brian? <coughs> AJ Lee is searched for more online my skipping. than Daniel Bryan. As a matter of fact, mid-2012, early 2013, she actually yielded more results than Punk. <laughs> yes, that is correct. AJ Lee was more popular on the internet than CM Punk. Nice drawing power there. Daniel, Daniel Bryan was and is, is all the way at the bottom. And he was this whole time. He got a little spike when all this Yes Movement shit started. It looks like around SummerSlam he spikes, but he never surpassed AJ Lee, he never surpassed CM Punk, and he never surpassed Batista in terms of um, Even when Batista online. wasn't wrestling. Even when Batista was not in the company, he was more interest people were more interested in him than Daniel Bryan. Bryan went up a little around SummerSlam, and he's gone down since then, and he has And that was recovered. probably all smart, just to get Daniel Bryan naked on right. Google Images. The guy is not a draw, okay? I'm not... Take... Taking away all of the insults about him looking like a midget aside and him being boring, he's just not a draw, okay? John Cena is a fucking asshole. I hate him. He hates him. We get it. He sucks. He is still drawing, though. It's going down, but he is drawing. It's probably all the little five-year-old children, but people are still interested in him. Punk had more drawing power than Brian, which is interesting to me. That even throughout all this yes movement shit, Punk was still significantly higher. Even because Punk's been compl uh, complaining that he's been like a jobber, he's not in the main event, and people still cared way more about him than the guy who's been forced down everyone's throat. Well, not forced down everyone's throat, but put in the main event for like well, how long is Brian? Brian's in SummerSlam at least. And what I really find interesting is that throughout all this, CM Punk could barely ever out search Batista. And yeah, he's butter. When the the only time he's significantly higher was this huge spike, which I'm assume, assuming was the time of the shoot promo, and then he went right back down, and Batista once again overtook him. And he's so shocked that they brought Batista back. And to I just think it's funny that AJ consistently is more popular than Brian, and in some spots she outdoes CM Punk. But isn't this, like, people are like, why do they bring Batista back and just shove him in the main Maybe event? Maybe because when he was in the company, his search results and popularity online was equal to Cena in some places. And when he wasn't in the company, they were still better than Punk and Brian. So, I'll post a link to this file in the description so you can actually see it. I think I can link via SkyDrive or some shit. But, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting, don't you think? This is real facts from Google. They don't give a shit about burying people. Okay? Just because there's a smarky crowd somewhere doesn't mean real people give a shit. And anybody can go on Google Trends and look this shit up. Try plugging in Orton. Try plugging in Triple H. Try different things. If I remember, I did Brock Lesnar, and he drew, drew everyone on the list, which is interesting. He was even higher. No, he wasn't higher than Cena, but he was higher than everyone else. No. And when he had a UFC fight, he would actually go over Cena, which is interesting. That if UFC is done right, it can actually outdraw WWE. So, yeah, we but, just thought this was interesting, I, but, yep. telling, a good way to bury so, all these marks out there. For the weekend. We have been working on this animated movie featuring Triple H and his buddies. We have, we've had this concept. I actually mind. think Smarks will like this video because it makes you know, Triple H look like a douche. I this. think every, whether you like us or hate us, we think you'll like this video. We've had this idea in our minds right. about We've Triple been working H. on it. Oh, the problem is I haven't had the time to finish it. I'm going to try to put the f finishing touches on it either We're tonight gonna try. or tomorrow and have it up before the weekend. If not, we'll have it up next weekend, but I'm going to try. We will definitely have a Raw review up after the show. Watch Raw. Yeah, no, this is going to be an interesting show because the crowd is going to be screaming for CM Punk and yeah. WWE is confiscating the signs and everything at NXT for Punk. So They're going to give you a Dolph Ziggler sign instead. Of, Here's the new one. So, very interesting. We, we missed SmackDown, but apparently they're going to do Shield Wyatt's at Elimination Chamber. Which is going to be so fun. And it's also, it's cool, Cesaro's in the chamber. We're going to mark out if he wins. Right. So, it should be a very interesting show. Uh, but yeah, think about these stats. Play with Google Trends. We're not making this shit up. See for yourself. No one gives a shit about Daniel Bryan, alright? No one gives a shit about Cody Rhodes either, so fuck I him. I didn't put him in. Yeah, fuck Cody Rhodes.